Hey guys, Pastor Greg Locke here. It's no secret that I have given my life in ministry to the broken. Matter of fact, our shirts where broken people find new meaning to life. It's more than a slogan at the church that I pastor. It is the entire DNA structure foundationally of who we are. But I want to say something to those of you who feel broken. Sometimes in working with broken people, what comes out of their mouth and what they verbalize from their heart and their mind is they're valueless. They have no value. They don't feel valuable. They don't feel loved, accepted, appreciated. Let me tell you something. We're all broken. We all have deep major issues. As a matter of fact, the people that deny their brokenness and deny their issues, well, their issues have issues because we all have problems. And yet Jesus has the unique ability of love, grace, mercy, and acceptance to meet us right where we are. Think about this dollar that I pulled out of my pocket for a moment. This dollar has value. Now we understand denominationally it's just a dollar and so it doesn't have a lot of value and gold backing, but it has some value nonetheless. So let me ask you a question. If I crumple it up, does it lose its value? No. You can still straighten it out, take it somewhere and buy something with it. If I spit on it, it's still valuable. If I throw it on the floor and step on it, it's still valuable. If I tear it, even if I tear it in half, tape it back together, it's still valuable. It doesn't lose its value through its brokenness. And ladies and gentlemen, neither do you. You might be struggling with depression or addiction, or you may be a young person or adult that's cutting, or you may be reaching out for some value, looking for something, can't sleep at night, got basketball-sized ulcers, chew your fingernails to the quick, your stress level, your anxiety is through the roof. Know this, you still have value. It doesn't matter how broken you are. It doesn't diminish the value that God has placed within you. And so listen, you've got to quit seeking approval and acceptance through everybody else and understand that God receives and accepts you just like you are. But the gospel loves you too much to let you stay that way. So you may be crumpled up today. You may be torn. You may be spit on. You may be stepped on. You may be thrown to the curb, thrown to the side, sitting on a shelf. Wondering, what is my purpose in life? Listen, you still have value. And you find that value so often in your brokenness. Not in the lack of it, but in your brokenness. Listen, a stallion is a beautiful horse, but it has no practical value until it's broken. And so sometimes God will use brokenness so that on the other side of that brokenness, we receive blessedness. Our pain indeed becomes our platform. So if you're feeling like this today, let me remind you, you can still buy something with this because the fact that it's crushed doesn't mean that it's lost its value. And today, God loves you very much. And whoever you are that needs to see this, you need to know that pain is part of the process and we'll never get the power without the process. So let's just embrace our brokenness and understand that God's going to use it in a valuable way in all of our lives.